Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. Today I am going to teach how to make a simple point of sale system in C Sharp without connecting the database. This is a very simple system. You can make this kind of system and give to uh, you can give uh, simple uh, small shops like this. Okay, uh, without connecting the database. Okay, there are uh, in this shop consist of uh, various five uh, items hoppers, shorties, rice, fried rice and buryanis each and every item price will be displayed here offers 10 uh, shorties 20 these are the prices relevant items these are the quantity here this is the quantity here ammo this will be the total here let's see the demo of the polls here hoppers how many hoppers you need you just uh, enter the quantity here if you if you enter 10 and add here quantity here add 10 this will be 10 multiplied by 10 here amount will be 100 added after that the person order two fried rice here the amount will be coming here one buryani here and then if you click total this will be the total of the total price okay this is sim this kind of a simple system we can make okay without connecting the database okay if it is a big shop we can't manage this kind of software we have to manage with the backend part as well uh, connecting the database this is a very small uh, you can make this kind of a small system and give to those uh, selling to the shops okay it's very efficient way to do this kind of program okay okay uh, now let's go to the, go to our coding part how to do this system as well okay here 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 this will be the add button i wrote the coding add button mean here if you have this uh, control called as list box you can get the list box from this toolbox okay i'm going to create another one that's a uh, much better for you all to understand this kind of system get it this is the blank form of shishap.net here what i'm going to do is here in my previous example this is the example i'm going to do it here i need two list uh, list boxes is called as list boxes you can if you want to store uh, many items you can use this uh, list box okay here go back to our form here we need first we uh, we have to draw uh, the uh, dra dra drag the two leg uh, list box as well one two okay Let's arrange them in the order. Then we need to display the some items. Okay. Here, what I'm going to do is here. Just click on the list box control. Here you can notice that at the above uh, one arrow here like this. Okay, symbol like this. You just click on this here. Here, click on the edit item. Editor, if you click edit item, you will notice that you can get the nice uh, notepad look like this uh, string uh, connection uh, collection editor. What I'm going to do is here, you have to type the uh, things you need here. Okay, what are the menu items you are, you are going to enter? You have to describe here. So, let me copy this one as well here. This is the item I enter here. So the same item I'm going to copy and paste here. Okay. Here you, you you have to type this one, okay? As well, like this. Type and enter. That is the way you have to do. I've already done this stuff, so I just copy and paste here. As well, here just click here. It's easily come here like this. If you want to increase the size of the font, 
uh, you already are aware of these things uh, in, in my uh, in previous tutorials you can increase the font like this here here as well here is the prices will be display appropriate uh, price will be uh, display the next text box uh, list box here uh, let me copy the price from from our existing system this one will be the prices let's copy and paste on this editor that's that's fine let's increase the size of the fonts 12 right now what i'm going to do is again i'm going to do this quantity control this one as well this one called as here numeric up down this one this is called as numeric up down you just drag and drop here okay here let's uh, let's name the uh, name it as quantity q the simple one okay let's think the size of the font you have to type like this okay if i if i type like this is taking too much time confuse uh, consuming so that time uh, shortly i type it here okay it's take too much time to complete this uh, process okay here you have to type the editing as well okay here item price and everything okay i i am putting this one also i am going to do only for the validation part on here, this tutorial here after that i need another two text boxes one is for uh, quantity another one is for amount another one is for uh, total okay so let's drag and drop two list box as well one two fetch them in the order and one uh, text box let's make it as something big, uh, bigger multi line text box when you show the price it will be coming as a big font ok total here let's name it at this one only total okay right let's increase the font little bit bigger okay best now what i'm going to do is i'm going to name it and everything this one i'm i'm going to name it as items let's do fast this one i'm going to name it as price price here price i'm going to little bit bigger with bold font this one for amount this one for quantity so i need another two labels arrange them this one for this one for amount okay. 
this one for total okay let's select uh, order on the shift key down and select both and increase the font as well increase the font as well bit bold 12 click ok successfully now let's do the coding part as well we need two buttons as well one is for add the things another one is for add the total ok here I have two buttons one is uh, called as name as add items this one for final total okay here here what I'm going to do is here first when the person command choose hoppers and increase uh, uh, what is the quantity they need and give the quantity and press the add button the, the quantity what, are, what you enter on this uh, uh, control and control is this one goes here the the the, uh, the final amount will be displayed here okay 3 10 multiplied by 3 the amount goes to 30 will be here okay that's the stuff I'm going to do so I already written the coding in my uh, last tutorial sorry last uh, demo here this one here so I let's copy this one step okay and I explain it here first I copy this one as well first I am explaining simple one okay double click here here first I uh, created the variable which called as cost equal to zero okay first I created the integer variable after that you can notice that uh, there are in below there are various conditions there okay here there are it's this list consists of uh, various items offers uh, sorties etc so we have to write the condition when the user select offers what happen when the user select the sorties what happen so there are various items available so we have to write the condition okay can when you write the condition you have to use if else okay so here there are many condition with many uh, choices available so we have to write one or more condition when you write one or more condition you have to use else if okay here when the user select hoppers so here uh, notice that hop here this uh, control called as list box one so list box one there is a uh, property consists of selected item dot selected items equal hoppers the user select hoppers hoppers means this hopper the same name you have to give here if you are not giving here it's getting error here just copy and give that's very efficient way to do the program you just put the name here within the double quotation mark okay. when the user select hoppers what happen is here you call this variable here cost equal uh, numeric down mean this one this one mean when the user select this offers and what is the quantity uh, they need they provide a quantity here what happened is here I did numeric here what is the five price I manually I enter here 10 I put here, this 10 I entered in the coding multiply by 10 here this one will be here called as this numeric up down text box multiply by 10 okay 10 mean this particular price I manually enter here so uh, the quantity uh, multiply by uh, price the cost the this thing multiply and uh, passing to the variable cost okay after that you are going to add this cost into the list box list box 4 so not 3 4 so here if you make it as 4 
if you make it as pause you can see like this here it's adding it this for to it here like this but you notice that your quantity is not display here so what i'm going to do is here i miss one line here and above i didn't copy this thing just copy and explain what is the code mentioned here here what happened is list box this list box 1 so I make it as list box 1 items add numeric dot text sorry to um, not this one this not this text box three three mean what is the enter what is the item you selected on this uh, quantities if you select as three this three will be goes to this text box as well here so you uh, give the name as three so what is the quantity you selected here is if you put the uh, list box items dot add within the double quotation mark here the the particular item will be displayed here here if you like this here if you here, the example is list box list box 3 dot sorry if you go to the list box dot items dot add add like this here if you here if you enter some item like this it is go and add this list like this the same thing coming here okay the if you uh, list box items dot add uh, zero uh, this uh, this text mean this is at the first line if you add another thing if you copy and add another line like this it is it is adding to second line like this okay the same thing what I am going to do is here, I am putting to this one, putting put, uh, I, I am putting to this uh, control name so that what you are select, what, what the items you select here is, it is adding to the first here, second, second, third, like this, here if you like this, here, if you put like this, the list, okay, if you select the item here, what is the quantity you select at here, the first, uh, the, this two will be added as a first list here. Here, if you select the second item here, if you, you notice that if you five, here, five will be added. Okay, it's keep on adding. Okay, the same thing echo and adding here because it's it, the, the list box containing list. Okay, you can add more than one. Uh, line here you can add line by line you can add here okay uh, after that what i am going to do is here it's uh, display successfully after that what i am going to do is here i am going to add the final total okay here i didn't explain the code as well uh, okay according to this one okay i already explained the same thing happening here sort is also the user selected sort is the re relevant files will be 20 here 20 multiplied by the quantity is passing the cost the, uh, the cost will be added into my list box for the same thing as well as rice as well as uh, fried rice and biryani the same thing you have to do okay here you notice that here the same thing i'm giving here also as well otherwise you are confused confusing confusing the code okay here numeric down text box here you have to convert this one when you uh, doing any calculation part you have to write the convert dot uh, to uh, int uh, 22 uh, the when you convert something else in c sharp okay otherwise you can write easily in dot pass the same thing okay in dot pass and if you write in dot pass the, the that will be the same the this one also the same okay if you like this one also same thing okay 
if you, you have to convert okay. that's the thing you have to do okay the same result it will be this day it doesn't doesn't matter okay when we add something else so that you have to convert the values so that you have to use in dot pass here yeah. okay now you're getting the value successfully now what i'm going to do is i'm going to get the final total on this text box so double click on this text box i'm i'm write the code already in my previous tutorial here this one just copy the code simple code paste it here here what i did this year total this one will be the text box one called as i created two integer variable one is a i equal zero result equal zero okay you can write either this way or this way both are same zero, like this okay you can write line by line or one line you can write put the comma and write one line otherwise you can write like this divided into two lines okay as well okay so here i write one loop which is a while loop it's called as while loop while loop after that i call this variable i here i what is the value of all the value i is zero i call the i here i less than list box i terms dot count mean if you call that three list box three not not three this one four this one as i four i am getting here because i am uh, what are the amount this pay here is all the amount i calculate and this pay the final amount here that is the thing i am going to do so that i am getting this text box name this box four okay have you understand my concept here if you notice that one two what is the height, uh, what is the total here 118 eight, eight, uh, eight, uh, 800 so the final total will be coming here so that is i am adding each and every uh, here this one values in this uh, list, list box 4 okay that's the thing i am going to do is here so that i am counting how many items available is so that i am putting uh, list box 4 items dot count okay it's counting the values after that if the value is less than uh, i here this one uh, less than uh, less than uh, zero if the condition is true coming here coming here and uh, all these items here this i so after that if you write results plus mean it is adding adding mean if you not put uh, plus be, uh, after the result it's not adding it's display like this first time you are adding uh, 300 after that 1900 not adding if you put plus over here what happens is it's both adding and display like sorry display like this okay it's like this it's coming the output like this okay it's not coming like this if you enter here the item will be the color that this both added and display the final amount the same thing like this here okay plus plus means uh, uh, what is the first item it's display second item display third item display after that calculating all the item uh, available in the list and getting the final dot okay after that i am passing to the text box which is a text box one the final total i am passing to the text box one here so here this result i am passing here okay that is the thing i this that did here the final total uh, you get is as a string so that i put in here convert to string method okay here i am uh, put as a double double mean you can get the result as a pointing values sometimes you may uh, you may aware about this uh, when you get the uh, pointing values at the end so that you have to use instead of the int uh, total uh, double as well okay here notice that when the user command this one this one now click on the total mm, something wrong here wrong mean this one not four three four three uh, the list box three four 
that's why it's take raw now when the user add the items like this So click this one you can notice that uh, that the, these two item will be display and after that adding and display the final total that is the thing i just here i plus plus plain it is coming like this after that plus me it's it is it's two adding and and display the total on this text box text box one i called as here put into the results here is it is called here it's display the result like this that is a simple stuff you have to do okay you can make this simple uh, point of system without connecting the database you can make like this okay you can selling this uh, item to a simple stock uh, shops or as well okay i hope you guys you enjoy my tutorial as well uh, if you like my channel please subscribe me thank you for watching